Welcome back, Fort Mill. I'm Josh. And I'm Caroline. Congratulations on making it through your first week of school. Only about 37 weeks left. And even less for us seniors. I'm so excited that we're seniors, but it'll fly by before we know it. And in the meantime, you guys get to tune in and watch The Buzz every Friday. And we're so excited to be your anchors. We have a great show for you guys. Coming up this week, we meet the not-so-familiar faces in Fort Mill, Jen tells us what we can do with 10 extra minutes, and Noelle gives a little advice to all you freshmen. All that and much, much more right after this. Friday night football games and sitting at the stands of volleyball games cheering on Fort Mill. And you can't forget about all the other fall sports like girls tennis, cross country, and swimming. And the award-winning dance and cheer teams. They actually both brought home wins from their summer camps this year. Heath and Journey have all the announcements and info about Fort Mill's fall sports. Hey Fort Mill, welcome back to school. And with the beginning of school follows the start of fall athletics. I'm Journey and you're watching The Buzz Sports. It was a great summer for our dance team and cheerleading squad, both placing first at their UDA and UCA camps. Teaching some future Yellow Jackets the basics of being on a team, volleyball, basketball, football, and cheer all held camps over the summer. Dominating on Wednesday, the tennis team had a match against Lancaster and won every single line. Kicking off the season with a win, our football team had a close game with White Knoll, but scored a winning touchdown with 55 seconds left on the clock. The final score was 28-33. A key performer was Rontavius Hughes, who ran a total of 188 yards and scored two touchdowns. Now let's pass it on to Heath for some information on how to reveal your school spirit. Thanks, Journey, for that update on this week's sports. Even if sports aren't for you, the high school has a lot of other things to offer to help you with your school spirit. One of them is a new club called the Swarm. I sat down with junior member Noah Griffin to figure out what this club is all about. The Swarm is a new student-led organization here at Fort Mill High School dedicated to get uh, students out to sports other than football. You need to contact Mr. Tyler. He will let you know when the meetings are. The meetings are Thursdays after school. Uh, any other information you can get from him. At Swarm meetings, we plan themes for games, we set up fundraisers for the school, and we make fun of Mr. Tyler most of the time. People should join the Swarm to boost school spirit. So Fort Mill, the Swarm is a great option to help you boost your school spirit. This has been Journey and Heath reporting for the Buzz Sports. Now back to you, Caroline and Josh. Thanks guys. We're here outside of the new front office, which, if you haven't figured out already, is on the opposite side of the old front office on Highway 21. This office is home to a couple new faces around Fort Mill, including a guidance counselor and attendance clerk, as well as a new assistant principal for you seniors, juniors, and sophomores here in the old building. But the new staff isn't just limited to the front office. We also have a ton of new teachers around the school this year. Hannah went around to some of these fresh faces floating around Fort Mill and got to know them a little bit better. Hi, I'm Ms. Rash. I'm the new school counselor here at Fort Mill. I have grades 10 through 12, last name letters F through K. Hi, I'm Carson Troll. I'm the receptionist, secretary of Ms. Walker, and attendance of all of ninth grade. Hi, I'm Christina Beckner. I teach algebra and geometry in the ninth grade wing. I'm so happy to be a Yellow Jacket. My name is Mr. Brandt, and I'm absolutely thrilled to be here, and I'm looking forward to meeting everyone. Go Jackets! Hi, my name is Mrs. Maggio, and I am teaching IBA 1. 
I'm very happy to be here at Fort Mill High School. My name is Miss Hall. I teach English 1 CP and English 1 regular. Hi, my name is Mrs. Bishop. I'm your new attendance clerk for Fort Mill High School. Thank you all very much for making me feel welcome. Come by and say hi sometime. Hi, I'm Ms. Bolden. I'm teaching statistics and geometry this year. All right, hi guys, I'm Mr. Jones. I know nobody here knows me. I'm brand new. You've never seen me before, but uh, I'm gonna be teaching business this year up in R107. Looking forward to having some of you guys come see me anytime. We're gonna have a great year. I'm so excited to be here and I hope everyone has a great year. I hope to have a great year with you guys. I'm looking forward to a great year. Looking forward to a great year. I'm looking forward to a great year at Fort Mill High. It'll surely take some time to get used to all these new teachers, especially since all of my old teachers from last year moved classrooms. I can agree. There's definitely a lot of change happening here at Fort Mill, and it's strange not knowing where everything is my senior year. Even lunch has changed to how it used to be. Now we only have A and B, but I never know when to go to lunch since we got 10 minutes added onto our schedule. Yeah, I feel you there. I still haven't figured out when to leave for school. Something about pushing the schedule back 10 minutes really threw me off, and I know I'm not the only one that affected. Well, Jen can maybe help. She came up with some creative ways to live your 10 extra minutes to the fullest. As many of you know, we've had multiple changes to Fort Mill this year, including a later start to the day. I've come up with 10 things to do with our 10 extra minutes in the morning. Even though there are so many things we can do with our 10 extra minutes, most of us will probably just hit that snooze button. I'm Jen, reporting for The Buzz. Thanks, Jen. I'm sure everyone will try to squeeze as much as they can out of those extra 10 minutes. Now we're here in a place that's not so familiar to you sophomores and upperclassmen, the R-Wing Commons. This is dedicated to the freshmen. It's pretty much a smaller and nicer version of our Commons in the old building. Speaking of freshmen, we wish you guys a big buzz welcome and congratulations again for finishing your first week of high school. I remember when I was a freshman. I pretty much had to figure out things for myself because the upperclassmen weren't that much help. Well, don't fret this year, guys. I'm sure if you need anything, Fort Mill kids will be happy to help. Noelle was thinking about you freshies, and she came up with some ways to help you guys with your next week and for the rest of the year. There are over 500 freshmen at Fort Mill High School, and many of these nervous ninth graders shared some of their thoughts on what they thought this upcoming year would be like. I'm most nervous about getting beat up. I'm just kind of scared of all the new stuff, the stuff that I don't know. I am nervous about my public speaking class. I've never really talked in front of crowds or anything. I heard about the cell phone thing. You like all that, you get it taken away, and like all this stuff. I'm not nervous about anything. I'm very afraid of getting lost. I'm nervous about turning things in on time. Here's some tips to make your freshman year great. Tip number one is to always do your homework. Grab a buddy and do your homework together. Tip number two is to take lots of pictures. High school is filled with many memories and it's important to capture these moments. But that also brings us to tip number three. Do not post any inappropriate pictures or anything you may regret on social media. Tip number four is to stay organized. Clean your backpacks and binders regularly and use highlighters and colorful pens to organize your notes. And tip number five is to stay positive. If you come to school negative, you'll probably have a bad day. But if you come to school positive, your day will probably be great. I'm Noelle, reporting for The Buzz. We've moved once again, this time to where the magic happens. The football games, I mean. Well, I wouldn't say football is magic, but um, Fort Mill student section sure is. And you can't forget about those football players. Uh, but football players aren't the only ones who play on the turf field. Did you forget about soccer? Oh yeah, they won the region championship last season. Yeah, and that means Fort Mill fell right under the college coach radar. Sydney has more about one Fort Mill student's college recruitment process. 
While some of us have been sitting under the sun all summer, a few others have been doing a lot more than just relaxing. Certain students are persevering towards achieving their childhood goal of playing for a college league. For Kimber Haley, that dream has already come true. Beginning freshman year, I went to ID camps and put myself out there. And then we started going to showcases in Phoenix and Seattle, and college coaches showed interest after those showcases. During her road to recruitment, schools such as Furman, Vanderbilt, and Clemson showed interest. However, her heart was set on sporting the prestigious PAW since day one. She had to go to the schools and see them uh, and, and actually weigh the good and the bad. And finally, in the end, I think that Clemson was just something that she always loved and dreamed. Without the pressure of deciding where she will spend the next four years, Kimber puts all her time and effort into improving her soccer skills. With demanding competition and a more dynamic league, preparing for college ball requires more hours on the field. I know it's going to be a huge difference in the game. It's going to be faster. All the girls are going to be stronger, so I know I have to improve my skills and work harder. I just really love the game and love to be out there. Despite the practices and 100 degree weather and time consuming tournaments, in the end it all paid off. I'm Sydney, reporting for The Buzz. Hey, hey, hey. There's a lot of pressure both academically and physically to play a sport in college. Yeah, and sometimes I think high school is stressful. I stress about getting enough sleep and doing homework at the same time. Yeah, no matter how much sleep I seem to get, I'm cranky the next morning and I'm chugging coffee trying to survive. Well, I think Bata may have a solution that's a little bit healthier and more beneficial than chugging coffee every morning. Did you know that drinking a glass of lemon water in the morning can boost your mood? I wish I would have known about this every Monday I've ever had. It not only improves your mood, but it also helps clear your skin and boost your immune system. Our school's nurse agrees with the benefits and says that there's more to it than a refreshing drink. The benefits of lemon water are that it naturally detoxifies the body. Lemon water is good for the body in more than one way. It replaces um, elements that you may lose during the day. It's actually best to start with uh, lemon water um, and to use that to replace sugary drinks and sodas is a great idea. Um, a can, a 12 ounce can of Coke has 12 teaspoons of sugar in it. Um, so that is just not very healthy for your body. In order to reap these amazing benefits of this drink, squeeze half a lemon into a glass of water or add one teaspoon of pure lemon pressed juice. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to add a glass of lemon water to my morning routine. I'm Bata, back to you Caroline and Josh. Thanks Bata, and thanks to you guys for checking out the show. Make sure you use the hashtag back to back to support this week's show. The Buzz of the Weekly show, so don't forget to tune in next week. We won't be there, but don't worry, we'll be back the week after. I'm Josh. And I'm Caroline. Have, Have a, a great, great weekend, weekend Fortnite. As most of as most of we know. As most of us know. <laughs> that sounds weird. I don't know why I'm doing that. Being a freshman, we wish you guys a biz boat. A biz. <laughs> Boost your school spirit. I'm Journey. Just I'm not Journey. I'm Heath and Journey. I see a lot of familiar. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Used to all these new teachers, especially since all the old teachers since last year moved classrooms. Especially since. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We're here on Rice right Avenue. <laughs> that was the biggest one I've ever seen. Have a great week, Weekend! <laughs>